this week, I started a full-time role at Amazon Web Services after being an intern for eight months. Many students have been reaching out, asking questions like, Hey Lucy, I'm interested in applying for an Amazon internship. What was your application process like? Or, I want to be a solutions architect. Can you tell me more about what the role entails at AWS and how I can land a job like this? So I thought I'd make a series of videos to try and answer some of these questions. If you're new here, my name is Lucy and I make videos all about tech, career and student advice. I'm going to be breaking down this video into three parts. So first, I want to talk about my journey into AWS as an intern, the whole end-to-end -end process of applying online, doing interviews and receiving the offer. I then want to talk about how to get that first interview and how to stand out as an applicant. And finally, I'm going to be going through some interview tips and how you can show your best self during the interviews. I've also included timestamps in the description below, so feel free to skip around to whatever section you might find the most useful. Let's get into it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about my experience with applying to AWS. I actually applied to AWS twice, one in 2019 and once in 2020. So I thought it would be best to structure this video by answering these three questions because these were three questions that I was always curious about before doing my Amazon interviews. So first question is, what are the different stages of the application process? And I guess a typical sort of application process would be first you submit your resume online and then you do phone interviews followed by face-to-face -face interviews and then getting the offer. So I really wanted to break this down though because um, one thing I wanted to know, which brings me on to the second question was, what were the interviews like? So what sort of questions did they ask? How did they sort of structure it? And I guess it really depends on the role because sometimes if you apply for a software developer intern role, they might be asking more technical questions. So throughout the interview process, a big emphasis was on the Amazon's 14 leadership principles. So for example, one of the leadership principles is deliver results. So if they want to try and see um, when you've sort of delivered results in the past, they might ask you about any previous experience that you had, whether that be in a university society or through volunteering. And the third question is, what happens if I don't get in? If you don't get in, that's completely okay. I want to leave you with two pieces of advice. First of all, rejection is redirection as long as you know what to improve on for the future. For the first time, if you don't end up making it through to the final stages, perhaps you can ask for interview feedback or you can do a reflection on what you think went well, what you think didn't go well. The second thing is when they say no, unfortunately you haven't made it through as a candidate, it doesn't mean no, it means no, not for now. So think of that as an opportunity to grow and don't let that stop you from applying in the future. So I ended up applying twice and only ended up getting the offer the second time around. So the main takeaway is don't let these rejections stop you and turn these no's into no, not for now. Okay, moving on to the second part of this video. How do you stand out as an applicant? So there's so many external factors that come with this because you can never really predict the outcome of your interview. What you can do though is to control what you can control. And what I mean by this is to tailor your resume, attend networking events, and get different perspectives from people who are in the company. Perfecting your resume is really about tailoring it to the job that you're applying for. I think students fall into the trap of sometimes applying to hundreds of different positions, thinking that at least one company would reply to them. And although that might be the case, it's much more efficient for you to focus on maybe five or six roles that you really want across different companies and really pinning down on making sure that you go through that process of getting to know the company, getting to know a few people inside the company and when it comes to applying for the role, trying to get a referral so that your application can stand out more. And if you think about it, in the past, it might be really hard. You might have to attend networking events that maybe your university doesn't even offer. You might have to travel to another university to talk to a representative from a company. But nowadays with things like LinkedIn and different company online events, you can actually still interact with representatives from different companies without having to travel very far. You can just do it all at home. So this is something that I would really encourage students to leverage using LinkedIn, reaching out to different people in the company, maybe setting up coffee chats with them to understand their role. And if they're too busy, don't have the time to, maybe you can ask for a quick chat just over text. And then once it comes time for you to submit an application, I guess you have more of an understanding of what the role is, what the company does, and what the company values in its candidates. In this final part of the video, I'm gonna share some interview tips on what has worked for me and what I picked up on after doing dozens of interviews throughout my university degree. 
So what I wanted to start off with, this is something that's more specific to Amazon. It's to prepare two or three examples for each Amazon leadership principle. So as I mentioned before, there's 14 leadership principles that Amazon really focuses on during the interview process. So by preparing two or three interview examples, um, this, this would involve, so for example, if a leadership principle was to earn trust, um, then you will think about two or three times in the past where you've sort of earned trust with a customer, earned trust with maybe students that you worked with in group assignments and coming up with like two or three solid examples can really help prepare you for the interview. My second tip, and this applies to all sorts of interviews, not just Amazon ones, it's to go back to the job description, really dissect it and find important keywords. And by this, I mean, look at the preferred qualifications, look at what the job requires, what sort of person that they're looking for. And typically for interviews, um, especially for interns, they don't look at how much previous experience you've had particularly, um, but I guess more on your attitude towards learning, um, towards being flexible, having a growth mindset, things like that. And a lot of that attitude can really be shown by the amount you prepare for the interview. So if you um, just go into the interview not really understanding what the company does, what the mission of the company is, then it's really hard for the interviewer to you know, be convinced that um, you'll be a good fit for the role. So that brings me to my third point. And my third point is to really do your research on the company. So if you look in the news, anything where the company was brought up, um, you could look at the company's history, so how it was first established, what its vision is for the next coming years. You don't necessarily have to mention everything that you've researched um, in the interview, but it's really helpful if the interviewer ever wants to dive deeper on your motivations for joining the company. Um, and when they do, you can mention mention things like articles that you've read, um, things that you've seen on the news, stuff like that, um, that would really help as well. And this wraps up my video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got something out of it. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe for more tech, student and career related advice videos. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Bye for now.